Good morning learners today we are going to do the first poem in our course which is called the squirrel this poem is written by mildred bowers armstrong on your screen right now you can see the picture of a squirrel i am sure that you must have seen a lot of squirrels in your life and uh, they hop around the trees they are found in the garden around your house they are uh, all the time eating nuts and running here and there they are very very funny and lovely creatures and they generally found around the trees right uh, this is the poem and if you can see there are only six lines in this poem it's a very very short poem but it's very fun to read you can do one thing you can pause the video right here and you can read it for yourself or you can read it with me as i read okay i'm going to read the poem now he wore a question mark for tail an overcoat of gray he sat up straight to eat a nut he liked to tease and play and if he ran around his tree he went the other way this poem is written by mildred bowers armstrong like i told you you can see the picture of this squirrel now pay close attention to its tail can you see that it is shaped like a question mark can you see that it is bent in a certain way that is what the poet is saying that the squirrel's tail is bent like a question mark this poem is written by mildred bowers armstrong please pay attention to the spelling of the poet's name and you can also see the picture of the poet right now we'll go back to the poem and analyze it a little bit we will see what it means he wore a question mark for tail what does his tail look like who is he here he is the squirrel he wore a question mark for tail what does it his tail look like it looks like a question mark an overcoat of gray what does his fur look like why do why are we saying overcoat because his uh, his skin which is made up of hair which is made up of fur it looks grayish in color that's why we are saying that uh, it looks as if the squirrel is wearing an overcoat of gray color right he sat up straight to eat a nut how is he sitting he is sitting in a straight position he is sitting straight and what is he eating he is eating a nut he liked to tease and play what does he like to do he likes to tease and play around he likes to jump around hop around tease everybody and you know just have fun with other people and if we ran around his tree he went the other way what does it mean it means that if you go near his tree if you go near the squirrel he will go the other way he will run away from you because he is a very lively very happy sort of a squirrel right now let's move on to a short summary of the poem here you can see on your screen uh, there's a summary and it has only three points because it's a very small poem so the summary is very very uh, concise let's look at the three points the squirrel covered in gray fur sits in an upright position on a tree branch eating a nut so the squirrel uh, it's covered in gray fur what does the fur look like in color it looks gray in color right and uh, he is sitting in an upright position sitting very straight and is very busy in eating a nut his tail looks like a question mark because it is bent uh in a in a circular shape it looks like a question mark the happy and lively squirrel loves to play with the poet and her friends so the squirrel is very happy very lively very fun loving she plays with the poet and her friends the nature of the squirrel is innocently naughty and likes to tease anyone who comes near him so uh because the squirrel is very naughty very active likes to run around so uh runs so you know he runs away from anyone if anyone tries to catch him or come near him or his house right next up let's see some questions about the poem who is sitting on the ground and what is it doing you should be able to answer this who is sitting on the ground correct the squirrel is sitting on the ground and what is it doing it's eating a nut the squirrel is sitting on the ground and is eating a nut here is the answer let's move on to the second question how does the poet describe the squirrel you tell me the word describe means how does the poet uh, tell you about the squirrel what words does he use yes the poet describes the squirrel as a naughty and intelligent animal whose tail is like a 
question mark and who wears a grey coloured fur coat. Right? This is the third question. He liked to play. He liked to tease and play. Who is teasing whom and how? The squirrel is teasing the poet and if we run, run around him, he will go the other way. So, here are the questions. I've discussed three questions with you and I'm wrapping up the session. Thank you.